YouTube, what's up? Um, you're back for episode number two. Um, so for those of you who didn't know, um, I had my appendix out on Wednesday morning last. Um, so currently five days post-surgery today. Um, so just a small one. Um, appetite's back to normal. Still a little bit sore. Still a little bit of bruising here. So we had our keyhole surgery in here and then microscope in here and um, so it's still a little bit of bruising still a little bit of ways to go before i am back to work um and off to nice for th four days on wednesday and um, so hopefully i'll be okay for that um, so i'm gonna keep this week's vlog relatively short Um, one reason being that lack of content this week because i haven't been in the gym and being out with um having my appendix out so it's a perfect opportunity for me to kind of explain one what elite performance coaching is all about and two for you guys to get to know me a little bit better um so elite performance coaching was set up about a year ago just out of college or university depending on where you're watching this because i felt that there was a lack of understanding um from a general population in terms of what strength and condition is all about. A lot of people see it as just lifting weights, um, just running people into the ground, but as I know and as people are starting to understand now, it's a lot more than that. Um, there's a, a lack of foundational movement skills being taught in schools in PE, um, which is one of the areas that I'm looking to go into in the next couple of months. And then also the likes of your warm-ups, condition tools that you can use depending on what sport you're playing and strength, power, speed development um, from a sports performance point of view. The other reason was is there's a lot of information out there now in terms of health and fitness but a lot of it's in relation to body composition and that sort of thing whereas a very little of it is applicable to sports performance, your strength, speed, power, all those sorts of things. Um, while body composition is a desirable outcome from your training, it shouldn't be um, the prime focus. Um, it'll be a secondary outcome of your training if it's structured correctly. Um, that's another area that I'm looking to kind of shed more light on because a lot of people follow guys or females who are in the health and fitness industry, but it's primarily related to um, body composition with no consideration for the intricacies for sports performance. So it's another area that I'm looking to kind of shed more light on. So yeah, over the next couple of weeks, hopefully gonna be doing more um, vlog type stuff. Obviously not gonna be able to go back to work for two weeks at least. Um, yeah, I've got a, got a lot of things planned, so again, in the comment section, if there's anything you might want to see, let me know. Um, get in touch with me directly if you don't want to share it down in the comment section. Okay, so I'm going to leave it there. This week's vlog is going to be nice and short, like I said. Um, the next update of the video is going to be hopefully some decent shots of my week in Nice. Um, so flying out on Wednesday evening and back on late saturday night uh, so looking forward to that nice few days away um so i will catch him with you guys then